Hello, great souls. Welcome to our Yoga for Everybody Chair Yoga Flow. Great to be with you today. Let's take a moment to center ourselves for our practice. So coming into a comfortable seat with the palms of the hands turned upward on the tops of the thighs, <clears throat> lifting and lengthening the spine. Just kind of imagine you're reaching through the crown of the head, lifting up to touch the ceiling. And as you do that, see if you can notice right away in the body and the torso and in the physical spine, a sense of lengthening and space. Relax the belly as you breathe. Take some deep, full cleansing breaths, breathing in and out through the nose, if that's comfortable for you. If you need to breathe through the mouth, it's fine. As you breathe, visualize the breath filling the whole body with prana and life force energy, vitality. Tuning into the quality of inner freedom, inner joy. Mentally affirming, I am free, I am free. Another deep, full breath in and out. Let's bring the palms of the hands together to the heart center, honoring the inner freedom and inner joy of your own divine nature and that of everyone. With namaste, namaste. Okay, let's begin uh, with a few warm ups. We'll stay seated and then transition to standing if that works for your body. Um, everything we practice, you can practice remaining in the chair. So <clears throat> you can have your feet where you have the balls of the feet or the foot completely touching, making contact with the floor. Just kind of notice for yourself what feels comfortable for you. We'll practice circle of light, circle of joy. So here we inhale and fingers interlace, elbows lift up. We exhale and the hands move out in front. Inhale, lift and lengthen, stretch the spine, reach up tall, release and exhale, arms come down. And you visualize light and joy surrounding you. Bring the hands behind the back with the back of the chair. It can be, a, you don't have as much space often. You could move forward in your seat if you like, but you can mainly you're stretching and creating an arch in the spine here. Then release and exhale, palms together, hands at the heart. We'll do this standing as well. Inhale, fingers interlace and elbows lift up. Exhale, hands move out in front. Inhale, lift and lengthen, stretch tall. Release light and joy surround you. Hands come behind the back, inhale, expand, arch the spine a bit, release and exhale. Palms together, hands to the heart. Very nice, let's practice side to side stretch. So um, you can use the leg of your chair, the right leg to support you, left arm comes up. Exhale over, reach through the fingertips, rotate the head, look up to the sky. Nice stretch along the left side of the body. Take some deep, full breaths in and out. We'll inhale up and exhale down. And then going to the right side, inhale up, reach, lengthen. Exhale over, reach through the fingertips, rotate the head to look to the sky. And with each breath, see if you can feel a sense of opening in the body as you stretch and breathe. Careful not to go further than the body's ready for. Nice, inhale up and exhale down. Okay, let's extend the left leg out. We'll keep the right knee bent and you can come a little forward on your chair if you like, reposition the right leg to feel stable. We'll stretch the back of the left leg. So inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale forward, 
Maintain a neutral spine, so don't drop the head and neck just yet. And see if you can feel, come to the point where you can feel the stretch on the back of the leg. See if you can sense it rising up the back as well. And then if you like, you can inhale, exhale, release the head and neck, rounding the spine. Again, deepening the stretch on the back of the left leg. Let's see if you can feel that. You may not feel it as much in the back. You may feel more a sense of relaxation in the spine and the torso. And then we'll inhale up and we'll exhale. Okay, let's go to the other side. So right leg extended. Position the left foot for support. Lift and lengthen. The inhale, exhale forward. Try to maintain neutral spine. This is considered the active phase of Paschimottanasana, the seated forward bend. Lengthening the back of the leg. The affirmation is, I am safe. I am sound. All good things come to me. They bring me peace. Rounding the spine now, if that works for your body, inhale. Exhale, surrender, release. Release head and neck. Mentally affirming, I am safe. I am sound. All good things come to me. They bring me peace. Inhale up and release. Okay, very good. So I was thinking it's nice. Let's come up into standing. And <clears throat> the, uh, one of the nice things to do for the body is to stretch the front of the thigh. And there's a couple of different ways of doing that. Um, so one way I want to show you is, and this can be good with two chairs. Right now I'm going to use it without the chair. But if you bring your leg back, and you have this leg forward. So that can give you a stretch in the leg. I'm also going to show you on the floor. But if it's difficult to get down on the floor, that's one way to do it. So on the floor, and let me turn it. I think this way is going to be better. So we'll do a lunge. So by having here the low lunge, and you can use the back of the chair for support lift and lengthen through the spine. You can keep your hands here on the chair, bring them to your hips or the heart, or bring the arms up above you. So this is the first level of, it's a modified warrior pose, Virabhadrasana one. The affirmation is I attune my will to the source of all power. I attune my will to the source of all power. Lengthen through the fingertips and exhale, arms down. Bringing your hands to the back of the chair, let's extend that right leg out. Another nice stretch. And you can bring your hands together, palms together, just using the back of the chair to support you coming forward. You could also hold the chair. And again, to see if you can feel a nice stretch in the back of the leg. And if that stretch extends up the spine, you can lift through the crown of your head to help that. And release. And we'll go to the other side. So you come into the position, paying first primary attention to the leg where the knee's on the floor, because that's where you're getting that front thigh stretch. Make sure you feel stable, hands on the chair, or on your hips, or at the heart, or above you. Lengthening, if the hands are above you, reaching through the fingertips, keeping the breath flowing, mentally affirming, I attune my will to the source of all power You could also say, I attune my will to the source of all joy. 
Just feeling yourself aligning with divine energy, awakening that inner joy. Inhale, exhale, arms down. And then using again the back of your chair for support, let's extend that left leg now, the leg that's in front of you. And stretching, relax the shoulders down from the ears. You can lift up through the torso to lengthen the spine as you come forward. Always careful not to overstretch. And release. Very good. So um, I'd like to show you in the, if you're seated in the chair, let me just show you quickly. If we're seated in the chair, this is seated Vajrasana. We use this for a neutral pose and also meditation. Um, you could bring your knee down a little bit for stretching. I'm going to show you. You want to make sure you're stable. So that's if you're in the chair. If you're on the floor and it's OK for your knees, I'm going to show you, come up a little bit. This is called, so this is Vajrasana. And then we have Supta Vajrasana, where you come back a little bit. And you can use the chair to support you coming back. And it depends, you know, you position yourself to see what's comfortable. That's, that's pretty far, I would say. You know, that's fine. Now, if I had a pillow under my head, it would be a little more comfortable. I could do that. I'll show you that. So we'll come into Vajrasana and then Supta Vajrasana. Again, another nice stretch for the front of the thighs. So here's Vajrasana. And this is called the firm pose. It brings the energy and the focus deep within the body. And it's already stretching quite a bit with the legs. Every body is different. so. You can adjust this by being seated. I'll show you that. You could be seated on a pillow if it's uncomfortable for you to sit right on the heels. So just finding what works for your body. In stillness, I touch my inner strength. In stillness, I touch my inner strength. Very nice. So we'll come into Supta Vajrasana now. So you're going to come a little further forward, lean back. And I have the, the bolster to support my head and neck, getting a stretch on the front of the legs. Ultimately, what we're doing is relaxing into Supta Vajrasana. And I'll show you another way of doing this without the chair support, but using your arms. And you could just release the head back a little bit. So deep stretch. You want to make sure that works for your body. The affirmation is energetic movement or unmoving peace. The choice is mine. The choice is mine alone. Energetic movement or unmoving peace. The choice is mine. The choice is mine alone. To come out, use the hands to support you. Come back to Vajrasana. Relax the body now completely. Mentally repeating these two affirmations of Vajrasana and Supta Vajrasana. In stillness, I touch my inner strength. Energetic movement or unmoving peace. The choice is mine. The choice is mine alone. A few more deep breaths.
Very nice. So from here, we'll come into camel pose ustrasana, and I'll show you camel on the floor with on the knees as well as in the chair. So camel pose in the chair is we have our hands here, or you can bring them back. So you decide for yourself. You're going to lean forward with your heart, find the position that works for your spine, lift and lengthen, and you're kind of looking up slightly, but you're not dropping the head. If you're on the floor, you're up on the knees, hands are on the legs of the chair, and you walk your knees away, bringing the back into that arch, and then offering yourself using the legs of the chair for support. Here I'm looking up towards the sky, but again, I'm not dropping the head. Deep, full breaths in and out. We visualize ourselves bathed in light, divine healing energy. And you feel yourself opening and welcoming this flood of light, this flood of healing energy into the body. This is a full stretch for the front side of the body and it opens up the back as well. Front side and back side, dynamically engaged, mentally affirming, with calm faith I open to thy light. With calm faith I open to thy light. To come out of the pose, release the hands, coming back into Vajrasana, either on the floor or in the chair, Pause and relax the body completely. See if you can sense the awakened surge of energy in the body. Draw that energy to the point between the eyebrows. Mentally affirming with calm faith, I open to thy light. With calm faith, I open to thy light. Very nice. Okay, we'll come up um, for either the chair or standing. We're going to come up into a um, moon pose. And I'll show you a variation of moon. If you're seated in the chair, you can do this. Let me just show you. Sometimes visual is easier than. So if you're in the chair, moon pose can be one arm like we did in warm-ups, where you're holding the chair and reaching over. It's a beautiful stretch and opening for the spine. If you're standing, using the back of the chair for support, Again, we'll use one arm. If you know how to practice with two and you don't need the chair, it's fine. But we'll practice with the chair today. So my right hand's on the chair. I'm going to inhale, left arm up, lengthen the spine, and then exhale, reaching through the fingertips and rotating the head to look up towards the sky. And now I can feel that stretch all alongside my body. The affirmation is strength and courage fill my body cells. Breathing deeply, strength and courage fill my body cells. Strength and courage fill my body cells. Beautiful. Then we'll inhale up, exhale, arms down, pause for a moment. Relax your body if you're standing. This is called standing mountain pose, Tadasana. Allowing the body to integrate what you've done. See if you can sense energy awakening and rising. Strength and courage fill my body cells. Ardha Chandrasana, the half moon pose. 
Very nice. We'll go to the other side. So I'm just going to move the chair so I can keep facing forward. You can turn in the opposite direction. Now I'm going to place my left hand here. And sometimes I step away a little bit because I want to give more room for my body in the stretch. So here I am. We'll inhale one or both arms up, depending on how you're practicing. If you're using the chair, your hand is here. And you arch to the side and rotate the head to look to the sky and reach through the fingertips. Take some deep, full breaths in and out. See if you can sense the body in this beautiful crescent moon shape. Strength and courage fill my body cells. This pose awakens the vitality in the heart chakra, which is a center of courage and strength. Strength and courage fill my body cells. Breathing deeply. Strength and courage fill my body cells. Then we'll inhale up. Nice. And exhale, arm down. And pause in Tadasana and really notice. Let's take a moment to feel with a relaxed body whatever you can sense happening within yourself physical body, emotional, mental body, energy body. Lifting the inward gaze, strength and courage fill my body cells. Beautiful. Okay. So from here, we'll practice a forward bend uh, using the back of the chair. This is called Padahastasana, the jackknife pose. So I want to stand far enough away that I'm going to be able to come forward with my arms. I will be able to reposition a bit with my legs as I need. Hands are on the thighs here. Lift and lengthen through the crown of the head. Inhale. Place your hands on your thighs. Exhale forward. Come down about a quarter to halfway. And if you want to step back a little bit, you can. Now we're reaching through the tail of the bone. I'm sorry, through the tailbone and the, and the crown of the head, lengthening the back. So stretching here and lengthening the back of the spine. Hands on the thighs helps to support the back. Deep breath in. This is the active phase of Padahastasana, the jackknife pose. The affirmation is nothing on earth can hold me. So you tune into that quality of inner freedom. Nothing on earth can hold me. Then we'll move into relaxation. So if you bring your hands to the back of the chair, step your feet back a bit, you can come to a point where you're relaxing. So you're not trying to, um, you're no longer actively stretching. But the position of the body and relaxation, it kind of, there's a, um, a relaxed stretch in the legs and a relaxed stretch in the spine. By holding the back of the chair in this way, it's a little easier on the spine than coming into a forward rounded spine where there's a lot of weight then, the torso, the weight of the torso um, can pull on, those, on the muscles. So you have to, it can, it's fine if it's okay for your body, but this is a nice alternative. A few more breaths, affirming nothing on earth can hold me. Very nice. And then we'll walk towards the chair, come back to Tadasana, and pause for a moment. Very nice. From here, we'll practice Nata Rajasana. So earlier, I showed you how to support your leg using a chair behind you. So you can practice this pose using with your leg here. You could have your hands like this as a way of lifting. Um, there's, there's different variations. So if what I'm going to show you standing with the back of the chair doesn't work, you can try the other version. So here what we do is we're standing on the left leg, and we bring the right leg back, holding the ankle or the top of the foot. And you use the back of the chair for support. If you feel um, stable in your stance, you can raise that arm above you. 
and offer the heart forward. The affirmation is, while I move through life, I remain anchored in my highest self. While I move through life, I remain anchored in my highest self. To come out of the pose, bring yourself back to Tadasana. Pause for a moment, hands at the side. Very nice, and we'll go to the other side. So now we're standing on the right leg, and the left leg comes back. You can keep your hand on the back of the chair the whole time, or raise that arm up. Offer the heart forward. Dancing Shiva. Shiva is the destroyer of all that is false. Delusion. Any limiting idea of who we are. While I move through life, I remain anchored in my highest self, my highest truth, my highest knowing of who I am, our soul nature, greater than the physical body, any challenges we may face, Very nice. We'll come back. Shift your energy as you need. And pause in Tadasana. Beautiful. So from here, let's practice a spinal twist. I'll show you from two angles. So we're seated, and we take the left leg and cross that over the right. Or you could keep the legs side by side if that's too much for the hip joint. So lift and lengthen. The hands can be here, kind of gently drawing the body lifted. Inhale, and then as you exhale, begin to twist towards, or I'm sorry, twist towards the left. So lengthen, exhale, inhale, lengthen and twist on the exhale. One more time, inhale, lengthen and exhale. Look back towards the left shoulder. Keep the spine lengthened and lifted with each inhalation. As you exhale, relax. The affirmation is I radiate love and goodwill to soul friends everywhere. I radiate love and goodwill to soul friends everywhere. We'll inhale and exhale back. And cross the legs. Pause for a moment. I think I'll stay facing forward. We'll inhale, bring the other side now. Right leg crosses, lift on the inhale. And as you exhale from the base of your spine, begin to twist. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Looking back in the direction of the right shoulder now. With each inhalation, the spine is lengthened and lifted. With each exhalation, a sense of relaxation, mentally affirming and visualizing yourself, sending out love, divine love, perfect love, and friendship to all. I radiate love and goodwill to soul friends everywhere. I radiate love and goodwill to soul friends everywhere. Inhale and exhale, release, unwind, uncross the legs. We're going to inhale, exhale, bring yourself in front of the thighs for releasing the spine, release the head and neck, balasana, just for a moment. And then inhale back up. Hands to the heart, closing as we began with Namaste. Namaste.
Let's send out three ohms. Oh. Great souls, many blessings to you. Great to be with you today.